So we're going to start on Unit 3 properly and talking about solving equations, so getting into the actual doing some algebra, I guess. But an important thing for us to think about is this idea that, you know, equations are just equalities in the sense that I've got two things that are equal to each other. And that's what the equation is. It has the equal sign saying that the stuff on the right is equal to the stuff on the left. And it doesn't always have to look the same. I mean, you can have an equation like 2 is equal to 2, but we can have equations where the things are actually of the same value, but they look different. An example of that might be, you know, I could have four one dollar coins on the right hand side of the equation, and I could have two two dollar coins on the left hand side of the equation. So I've got four one dollar coins and two two dollar coins, but both sides are equal to four dollars just shown in a different way, via one dollar coins or via two dollar coins. So that's something you want to keep in mind, is that both of these things on both sides of the equation are equal, and it's important that we keep it equal. And an example of not keeping it equal is if I were to take away one of the dollar on the left hand side. I would now be down to three dollars instead of four dollars, and I'd no longer be equal. So we need to think about doing things together, and one way to visualize that is with scales. So here's another illustration. Here I see that the equation 5x plus 3, so 5x's and 3 1's, is equal to 4x's and 8 1's. And the equation there is balanced. The scale has the same value, even though it's made up of different bits on both sides of the equation. So we'll take a look. This is from the um, National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. If you want to find it, search that out. And here I'm just going to look at a representation using a scale for um, this equation, 4x plus 2 is equal to 6. So one thing we notice is with nothing on the scales, they're balanced, they're flat. But if I put an x there, it starts to fall to one side. So what this equation is saying is I've got 4x's on that side, and two ones on that side. And on this side, I've got 6. And you'll notice as soon as I put that sixth one on, it balanced out. So here I see the equations are not balanced, they're not the same. I put that one on and they both balance out. Now, this is an important part of algebra. What happens if I take one of the ones off of that side of the scale? And then I take one of the ones off of that side of the scale? Oops. It balances again. What happens if I add an x to this side and add an x to that side? it balances. But again, if I only add an x to one of the sides, it flops over. So it's no longer balanced, it's no longer the same thing. So when we're doing stuff in algebra, when we're solving these equations, I want you to keep in mind you've got to do what you do to one side to the other side as well to keep it balanced. So if we look at this, we've now balanced these equations out. We go ahead and we continue. And if I want to think about trying to get x by itself, which is our big goal of algebra, we could see here that I've got two ones. So what happens if I take away two ones on this side and take away two ones on that side? If I minus two, can't do it with my keyboard, minus two on that side, I now have four x's on one side and four ones on the other side. So there you can kind of see that there's an equivalent. I've got four x's and four ones, so how much do you think each x is going to be? You should be thinking in your head that it's equal to one. And one way I would show that is if I break up this side by four, and I break up that side by four into each individual little piece, I should get that x is equal to one. So what we're doing, again, when we're solving out the algebra, is making sure that we keep both sides of the equation balanced. So if we do something to one side, we need to make sure we're doing something to the other side as well. So that's what we're going to get into looking at.